Hi, I'm Jo Woods and I'm a counsellor practising here in Melbourne. I've been doing this work for about 20 years. Uh, in the last five years I've uh, been specialising in relationships. Yeah, I think when I started uh, I went so fast and packed a lot in, didn't really know how to manage my emotions and very soon after I started, probably you know towards the end of the first year, I uh, just started to feel really fatigued and not trusting myself and I think that's probably what you'd call burnout. I, I think it just sort of, it boils into your personal life. So not only do you feel a little fragile, you know, in the working environment, but then also at home. And I think the trick with burnout is to, to notice the signs really early. I've got five self-care practices that I um, maintain myself and they are to eat nutritiously, to move every day, to maintain a calm nervous system, to remain connected to people around you and also sleep is the fifth one. You know, a big part of doing this work is, in, is continuing to do the work yourself. If you haven't worked through your own issues in at least a basic way, I think therapy is difficult to give, you know, to be a therapist if you, if you haven't done that work, it's quite difficult. I have supervision once a month and I have my own session with someone once a month or once every second month now. But through the, you know, early years, I think those two things should be at least monthly or bi-monthly alternating. You know, being on the couch um, is really helpful just to understand what it feels like to be a client, what it's like to walk into a session, what it feels like in a room, um, what it feels like to build rapport with the counsellor or the therapist you're working with. It, it just gives you insight into the client's experience and you know I reflect on a couple of therapists I would have seen early days who had that sense of therapist persona and so I, I sensed in authenticity. So I, I wasn't able to relax and I was less likely to share what was really happening and then it sort of doesn't really work, just doesn't click. Closing the gap between your persona and your authentic self is really, really important. Use your training and your life experiences to listen and you know, empathise and um, relate. Making a difference is such a huge question, isn't it? Am I making a difference? To deepen your understanding of the area you're working in is, is how you're going to provide the best care and support for your clients. You know, any particular part of life that you've had a lot of experience in, I really encourage you to consider specialising and keep deepening your understanding of your area that you're working in.